Sorry, but we are a little late to the show here on this channel. We have been busy fighting a war. Early risers might get the last opportunities this week to glimpse the newly found Comet C-2023-P1. The comet is located in the constellation Leo the Lion, visible toward the east-northeastern horizon about 90 minutes before sunrise. As the comet approaches the sun, the visitor is also getting closer to the horizon, thus making it more difficult to observe it after this week. So look at this new comet before it disappears in the sun's glare. Hideo Nishimura of Kakagawa, Japan, was photographing the night sky on August 11th and 12th, 2023, when he captured a new comet that now bears his name, Comet C-2023-P1. The comet hid in the sun's glare before Nishimura picked it up in his images. It will continue brightening as it closes in on the sun. Will Comet Nishimura get bright enough to see with the eye alone? That's always the question. The comet will be at its brightest around mid-September when it's closest to the sun and earth. At that time, estimates suggest the comet might get bright enough to see without optical aid. At its brightest, it will be very close to our sky. But, at that time, around mid-September, the comet will probably be difficult to locate against the sun's glare or daylight. The last days of August and the first days of September are a great time to try to spot the celestial visitor using binoculars, a small telescope, or long exposure photos. Look for it before it gets too close to the sun to see. And of course, we can always hope for an outburst. The closest approach to Earth will occur on September 12, 2023, when the comet will pass at 78 million miles from Earth. Perihelion, or closest approach to the sun, will be on September 17, 2023, passing at 27 million miles from our star. The current observed magnitude, or brightness, of the comet is around 6.4, which means people using telescopes in a dark sky can spot it. You may even be able to spot it in binoculars. Recent observations of Comet Nishimura indicate the celestial visitor is showing a faint but long ion tail extending 1, 5 to 2 degrees from the coma. So, the comet has developed a seat that's currently about 3 to 4 times the apparent diameter of a full moon. As the comet brightens as it nears the sun, the tail should also continue to grow. The long tail shows up only on long exposure images, but still. Wow! Comet Nishimura crossed Earth's orbit on its inward journey in mid-August. It reached the orbit of the next planet inward, Venus, on August 27th. At its closest to the Sun, Comet Nishimura will pass closer to the Sun than Mercury's orbit. Will it survive its passage so close to our star? As of September 1st, 2023, NASA JPL made new orbital calculations that indicate that Comet Nishimura orbits the Sun every 435 years, which suggests this is a local comet from our solar system and not an interstellar comet. Some details may be updated as new observations allow scientists to better refine the comet's orbit. Comet Nishimura is taking a tour of the zodiacal constellations. It moved from Gemini the Twins into the constellation Cancer the Crab in late August and early September. It will traverse Leo the Lion in the middle of September and then visit Virgo the Maiden in the second half of September. Comets are unpredictable. It's always challenging to predict a comet's future brightness. While Comet Nishimura could be bright enough to see with the unaided eye, it could also fall apart as it nears the sun. It's possible that Comet Nishimura could be within range of the unaided at around September 8th. On the morning of September 8th, you can look for the comet before dawn. The first object in the eastern sky is a crescent moon, followed by brilliant Venus nearby. The comet will be near the pair and close to the star at Hafera in Leo's sickle. Remember that the bright sunlight below the horizon will make spotting anything in the sky challenging. The comet's closest approach to Earth is on September 12th, when it's 0.85 astronomical units away. Around this time, the comet transitions from being a morning object to an evening object. On September 15th, the comet will be just 10 arg minutes from the second brightest star in Leo, Dinabola. 
but the pair will also be just 12 degrees from the sun, making it difficult to catch them after sunset before they set themselves. At perihelion, when the comet is closest to the sun on September 17th, the comet could get to around magnitude 2 or 3. Again, when the comet is bright and close to the sun, it will be difficult to see because it will also be close to the sun on our sky's dome. Get up early in the morning and look at this comet before it's too late. Enjoyed the video? Smash the like button to boost its ranking. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Your support fuels our channel's growth. Thanks for tuning in.